I'm Karen from Positive Fishing. Today we're going to make 3B fritters. Barra banana beer. Yes. So I've just got self-raising flour, depending on how much <laughs> fish you got, depending on how much batter you want to make. Whether you like lots of batter around your fish or just a little bit to hold it together. My man Kyan. Sorry, Thresher. <laughs> A little bit of salt. So I'm adding the beer to the south raising flour. Understanding that a lot of you out there are going to have a lot more complicated recipes with eggs and stuff in it. I don't know, but I don't use any of that. Alright, so I'm mixing my beer in my south raising flour. It's that easy. So depending on how thick or runny you like your batter, you can add more beer. So, number two thing that's going to affect your batter, how ripe are your bananas? The riper your bananas are, the runnier your batter is also going to be. I usually use very ripe bananas because I like it to go all mushy in my batter. Today I've only got hard ones, so I've already cut them up there, diced up the bananas. So they're going in there, mixing that in, mixing in now. I've already diced up my barramundi, that's about quarter of a half a fillet one fillet cut in half that's about half fillets so a quarter of a fish 70 centimeter fish barramundi cut up there mixing it hopefully i've got this there we go that's it that's all you have to do for banana barra beer fritters 3b fritters just like that trick now, it's not that easy, the trick now, put that in the fridge, don't cook it straight away, let it sit in the fridge for a little while, yeah, that's the trick, um, been in the fridge for a little while, Jono's going to come home soon, so if you hear the dogs barking suddenly, that's Jono pulling up, uh, I'm going to try and get them cooked before he gets home though, oil's been on for a while now, much, much, Thicker than I normally make it. Let's see how this works. Harder bananas and less batter, but I think it's going to be absolutely fabulous because that just means more barramundi. So, I've got the oil really hot in the corner there. Put this back in the fridge, leave it. The first ones aren't going to be very brown. So, just let them cook until the fish is cooked. Okay, once they look like they're browning on the bottom and have given them enough time for the fish to cook. That's the last one. Turn them over. Depending on how much oil you've got in there, I like to have lots of oil so they're almost deep frying. Waiting just as long for them to cook on the other side and brown off nicely. If and down, always leave them a little bit longer so that you know the fish is cooked on the inside. But look at those beauties. Normally I don't turn them over again like that. You don't need to if you're used to cooking fish. If you're not used to cooking fish, cut one open. Make sure it's cooked. If the fish flesh is white, it's cooked. If it's still Glassy, clear looking, it's not. I'm getting the mix out of the fridge, so while that lot was cooking, I still had it in the fridge. Give it a minute, but the oil was pretty hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot now. So I might make these ones just a tad smaller. That's not smaller at all, Karen. I don't do small. <laughs> I don't do gentle. I don't do cooking for one, I can't cook for one or two even. This is for Jono and I only.
foil is hotter with the second lot. I'll just leave that one in the middle a little bit longer. Ow! Be careful of spitting fat. All right, the proof is in the tasting. All right. Barra, banana. And beer. Beer. After a cider. That, eh? Juicy. Mmm. Show us the fritter. Oh. Obviously it's good. It's good to show you. <laughs> That lovely white fish in there. And banana. And banana. They don't last long. Mm, they're really good. Fish and banana fritters. Mm. Well, that was a good after work snack. Yeah. Yeah. Every night. Yeah. Well, if I have every day off, I'll do that for you. <laughs> Add in a little something extra to the barra fritters this time. Dreamt this up yesterday. There are four B fritters now. Bear, barra, banana and bacon with chili. Yeah. Not sure how thick to make this batter. It's so different than the banana batter. Last time I made it too thin. So we're gonna try thicker this time. All right. Of it, if it's totally shit, you can redo it. Hi, I'm home alone, so hopefully, this is pointing at me, <laughs> not at the floor. I've spent half an hour trying to set it up. And I've got to stay still because the floor is squeaky. Oh my goodness. What's <laughs> that over here? One of these needed. All right. Hi, I'm Karen from Positive Fishing. I think I've got everything I need now. <laughs> Today we're going to make three bee fritters: bear and banana fritters in beer, beer and banana fritters. Hi. So we're going to start with the beer. The most important ingredient, the beer, for beer better. So, most important ingredient, you can use any beer you like. Oh, no, I'm not sponsored by Great Northern, I wish I was. They should sponsor me, trust me. <laughs> Alright, most important step of beer better, taste the beer. Constantly, constantly taste the beer. Better, you can add more beer, or you can just drink the beer. Doesn't need any more in the batter. <laughs> now, this is a little bit thicker than expected. Maybe I drank too much of the beer. <laughs> so, just let them cook until the fish is cooked. Time for a little bit of a beer. So, oops, none in there. So go out here, find yourself another beer. Great Northern should sponsor me. Oh, maybe one day we should make cider fritters. Mm. Has anyone made cider fritters before? Let's see how that goes. How's that cider it's all right. fritter? Cider's all right with your fritter. Because I actually said maybe I should make cider fritters yeah, yeah. instead of beer batter, make cider batter. Yeah, that's right. Try next time. John, um, had his cider sitting there and went to tip the sauce on it. So now we have cider fritters. Charlie likes cider. <laughs> this is gonna be way better, <laughs> way better than Jace's beer batter. It's actually got beer in it instead of coconut milk. 
although that sounds all right too. <laughs> so we got a bit distracted. A friend came around to buy my home brew kit, and we drank too much beer with him. But here we go again. Oh boys, that's a large fish. <laughs> 